Sup, motherfuckers? We making burgers? No, not really. Oh, oh we're making borscht. <laughs> uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> That's what everyone voted for, didn't they? Uh, yeah, but I'm not making borscht. Fuck you. <laughs> have a side of delicious beet tea. I, I have a solution to prevent things from like that from happening ever again. Always have a backup plan. I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna list like two or three dishes to vote on, and then they can pick from those in the future. Remember, guys, it's second place that wins. Oh no. So yeah, it's been a while. I went on vacation, and then the store I work at got robbed at gunpoint. It was great. Yikes. Yeah. What is this a? Oh, this is a Wii cooking mama. I didn't even know. Yeah, this is. There's two, two Cookie Mama games on the Wii. This is Damn. the one that is a little bit better. <laughs> We're making Noki, by the way. We're making what? Noki. What? No, say it, say it right. I can't. <laughs> Noki. I New come Jersey, from the, I come from the wrong country. <laughs> Thank you. I for can't. The I can't pronounce things. The constant words of support. <laughs> Wait, you're in Jersey and you can't pronounce Italian words? I thought, like, Italian-Americans were all the rage over there. Uh, not in the Stanhood. It's where all the Polish people live. Oh. Alright, I'll write that down in my it's book by of Pennsylvania. facts about the America. Okay. <laughs> Done. <laughs> do they get this person to, like, did they only do one recording with this person, or do they keep doing it? I think it's the same audio clip, because this is the same audio, as far as I can tell, that they use in Cooking Mama 2 and 3. That was very difficult. And I've not played very much of World Kitchen at all. So. I wish I could cut potatoes and have them fold out into a perfect flower like that, instead I sort of just shoot them across the cutting board and hit someone with it. Exactly. This is boiling the perturters. Mm-hmm. Man, I want a pair of cooking chopsticks. I'll probably never use them, but I want one. <laughs> I have some chopsticks somewhere. I never use them for anything. I have actual chopsticks, but like cooking chopsticks are the really long ones. Mm -hmm. They're essentially over-glorified wooden tongs outside of Asia, but... Well, I have metal tongs. I just use those for everything. <laughs> like oh, this is my favorite minigame, because to win you just make a jerking off motion with the Wiimote. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mario Party 8, a game for friends. <laughs> friends who really like circle jerking. Ooh, yeah, girl. <laughs> In Cooking Mama World Kitchen, you can actually get through most things by doing the jack off motion with the Wiimote. It's a fun fact. Ancient te cooking technique beating off produces all food product. And here's probably one of the hardest mini games in this game, which is cracking an egg. You need some Wii Motion Plus, clearly. I have the Wii Motion Plus. Does it work with this? Or is no. it like one of those games that just tells you off for having it plugged in? No, it's. I don't think the Wii Motion Plus was like even a concept when this game came out. Oh, probably a launch title. Is is a while ago. And then Cooking Mama gives you one of those, like, plastic eggs. <laughs> I don't know what's up with this. Holy shit! Somebody explain this to me, because I don't know. I've never seen this before, I have not seen it since. She's become the flaming hate demon. <laughs> but I did great! She's become Ernie Cooking Mama. I did great, I, just, I was very surprised. Because that didn't even happen when I practiced. She will turn your cracked eggs back into full eggs and all of the other ingredients back into eggs as well. Oh no. <laughs> I'm assuming that one's sugar. No, bread flour. Right, I sometimes I forget what we're cooking. In quotes. It's borscht, right? Don't, don't put sugar in your gnocchi, kids. Don't deep fry in gnocchi. I mean gnocchi. You... Fuck, see? Now you're infecting me with it. I'm sorry. That's just <laughs> how I say it. <laughs> I'm tolerant to people pronouncing words. Oh, I just realized Cooking Mama did something wrong. Uh, cracking eggshells on the side of a bowl. It's a good way to get eggshells in there. Yeah. 
You have to have ninja precision. Which most people don't, so just do it on a flat surface. It's about a thousand times easier. If you really want to do it, at least practice it first. Otherwise you look like an idiot. Exactly. I encourage bad ideas if they look cool, so basically I'm going to piss off everyone in Goons with Spoons. <laughs> That's the goal of my thread, I think. You gotta make food like those bartenders that spin all the bottles around and shit. <laughs> like, roll six eggs off the back shoulder. Be like a really, really classy teppanyaki restaurant, but you're making Italian food. Oh, man. This reminds me that there is a cooking show, there's a new reality cooking show on the Food Network called Cutthroat Kitchen, where you get to buy Sabotage. And the one I saw last had a dude who was just named DJ Chef, and he won. <laughs> D DJ Chef. Mm hmm Man. He had, like, gold chains and shit. Is that an is SA it... name yet? We gotta give some- we gotta give some aspiring SA users some names. I don't know. Responsible Gnocchi Dad is not taken, but it will not fit. <laughs> I- I've tried. Okay. <laughs> I believe you. Oh man, you don't have the obnoxious blow into the mic minigames in this as well. No, because the Wii doesn't- well, it does have a microphone, but it only really works with that Animal Crossing game that it came with. Oh yeah! I think they might have used that with... something else. Whatever. There were some Mario Party games that had a microphone, but they were all GameCube. Since fucking when did Cooking Mama have bonuses? I don't know, this is the first bonus I've ever seen. Fucking brownie points or something. Okay, now we make the sauce. Open this can of tomatoes! Yeah. That was tricky. <laughs> Very <Hard>. challenging. <laughs> I think I have Cooking Mama on 3DS, actually. That's the oh. one game I cannot record, so... It's also the game I can't play because I don't have a 3DS! <laughs> Good job. Why do I have a bunch of games for consoles I don't own? I don't know. Send help. Mm. It looks like sausage. Yeah. I'm not sure why, but it does. I haven't been paying attention. What is that supposed to be? Uh, tomato sauce and gnocchi. Uh... Or do you mean the shit we're adding? Well, no. I think we've worked out... Those are cylinders. This is scientific, Gnocchi. Science Papa. <laughs> also, adding cream seems like a weird choice. Yeah. I don't- I don't even usually eat my Gnocchi with red sauce. Well, I guess- Just toss it, it with butter and Parmesan cheese and I'm good. That is definitely an option. I usually just make, like, Napolitana sauce, or bolognese, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did average? Look- oh wait, that's right, you incurred the wrath of the uh, Rage Demon Cooking Mama, that's why you got a silver medal, right? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy, is there any ingredients you need? It's flour, salt, pepper, breadcrumbs, more salt, a lot of salt. So much salt. Oh, I forgot to left align this text. Whatever. I'm not fixing it. Fuck you. Doesn't matter. People can read. Let's boil some water. Okay, mm. the uh... This is gonna seem really weird what I'm doing here, but the, the recipe I have, which is from the New York Times Cookbook 1968 edition, told me to boil whole potatoes. Why don't you just get washed potatoes? Oh, it's cheaper this way. I get a five pound bag of potatoes for like two bucks. I don't remember how much I buy potatoes for. <laughs> Separate some yolks. Them some white eggs. It's the white balance on my camera is fucking crazy. Oh, okay. Got like some albino chickens or something. Yeah, I mean, you can see the white balance changing as I move shit around on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
You gotta also, do the no. shell. You gotta do the shell toss and separate it. That's the pro way you're doing it. But this Fuck also works. Fuck that. Oh. <laughs> Long thread discussion about how to separate yolks. Nice readjust. Also, yeah. Bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm like, fuck it, I'll just burn my fingers. Is that even a peel? Oh. Oh, so that's why you boil them. I see. Well, I boil them because the potato, like, bo like not cut up. I boil them that way because, the, like, they're supposed to be as dry as possible when you make the dough. Hmm. Interesting. I usually peel the potatoes first, but this also, I guess, makes sense, yeah. Also, the potatoes I have here are a little bit undercooked, but I don't know that yet. Because, oh. uh, there's nowhere on the internet tells you how long you have to boil, like, a whole uncut russet. You s I just kind of had to wing it. Yeah, it's kind of just touch and go. I will tell you that 35 minutes is not long enough. So, longer than that. Now's the point where you leave the potato skins on the kitchen counter and see if any of your roommates eat them by mistake. <laughs> they will. Don't worry. <laughs> This is where I learn. This is where I learn. <laughs> it doesn't help that my potato masher is a piece of shit, and I have since replaced it. Yeah, I just saw the second you took the masher to it, and like a fraction of an inch came out the top. <laughs> Break out the old beaten hammer. Yeah, I, I used the meat mallet. It was way, way better. Okay, yeah. So now look... I have a big pile of fucking potatoes. It does look a bit undercooked, but... Yeah. Trick is, you gotta make that shit firm. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it looks like a splattered white turd on a bowl. <laughs> that yeah, that's why it has to be dry. Well. Otherwise, it'll just fall apart. Mm. So add salt, add flour, add the egg yolks. Also, my experiences with Gnocchi, I've never actually done this as a one-man job because it takes fucking ages, like you mentioned. Oh my god, this shit video. took me four hours. Yeah, this is this is the sort of thing you need you need a second person to help you out with, even if it's just the manual labor of rolling this shit, because seriously, fuck that. Yeah, like, I'm never making homemade Gnocchi again. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go to Safeway, they're gonna have the package for three bucks, and I'm gonna buy it, and I'm gonna save myself a whole bunch of effort. <laughs> Like, if you can do it right, it winds up being really rewarding, and it's actually quite nice, but... Really, if you're watching yeah, I mean, this, they chances, are, good, so. chances are you're a goon, so you probably, one, can't be bothered spending four hours and would rather run a dungeon in Final Fantasy XIV or something. I love to cook, and I don't want to spend four hours making Noki. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, they came out pretty... Well, aside from the chunks of undercooked potato that didn't dissolve, it, like, it tasted pretty good. So. What music is this, this time? This is a Nine Inch Nails. Oh no, it's not. Uh, this is this is Titus Andronicus. This song is called "My Eating Disorder," which I thought would be appropriate. <laughs> 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 I forgot there was music for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> After all that work I did trying to soundtrack it. It's always weird going through like your Winamp or your iTunes or whatever and being like, shit, I need music for a video that won't immediately get picked up by YouTube's content ID finder. That's that's typically how I operate, is just like, <laughs> is this obscure enough not to get auto flagged for copyright infringement? Yeah? Okay. Is it the right length? Excellent. That's why I gotta get into them Falcom game soundtracks, no one knows what that shit is. Now you have the fluffy powdery potato. Yes, and now I have to roll it into logs. Just like you, Mama. You don't just go straight for going for bowls? I just I just flip the bowl over into the boiling water. <laughs> no, I mean, like, what I would do is just pluck it out bit by bit, roll a bowl, put it on top of a paper, uh, um, on the bench, but like on top of a, like, a kitchen towel, and then just ah. do them all out like that. This way, I guess you can separate it a lot easier and you get equal portions to roll with. 
Yeah, because I just like I just slice it up at the end. So mm. usually, when you roll it in your hand enough, you wind up getting what sort of size you want it to be. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember if it if it shrinks or grows while you boil it, which seems really bad because I'm a science person. Um, I didn't notice much of a change, but that's because Noki only has to boil for about three to four minutes. So all right, yeah. I mean, once you put it in the water, it's not much longer. So how much are you making this for? How many serves? Uh, this is three potatoes worth, so, like, I assume that's three people worth. Hmm. I mean, it seemed like a decent enough portion. Yeah, the size looks right. So what's- oh wait, no, you didn't just go for covering it in sauce. I don't want to spoil your video for you. I'll be quiet. Oh no. There's gonna be plenty of tomato sauce though, don't worry. Okay. I thought I cut out a lot more of this. Oh well. Dramatic effect. Do a slow pan in. F it took me forever to cook it, it's got to take you forever to watch it. <laughs> so do you roll it after this, or are you- oh, you're gonna put them straight in the fridge, okay. Yeah, cause I've gotta- I've gotta make chicken parm now. Mm -hmm. And Noki only takes about, uh, you know, five minutes to boil, so. Yeah, you wanna roll that stuff so it's tight as hell, otherwise it starts to become- it starts to sort of unravel and fall apart when you go to boil it. Now comes the good bit. Chicken parmesan. Parma yes. Parmesan. I feel weird calling it a side dish, but that's... For, for the purposes of this video, that's what it is. It is parmigiana. Something like that. Also, it's, it's easier to slice chicken breasts if they're still a little bit frozen. So just keep that in mind. I never really distinguished the dis difference, I sort of just... Need chicken breast, give me a knife, go to town on this shit. They kind of hold their shape better if they're a little bit frozen. Hmm. For people who somehow don't know what this is, they make a schnitzel from a chicken fillet they've cut up, then add pasta sauce and cheese. It's super easy. Basically. The only tricky part is really doing the crumbing, but that's not hard either. Nope. You can fuck around with this a bit too, actually. I've seen mm -hmm. parmigiana served with, like, salami on it, like, pineapple, pineapple. egg. Like, just a fried egg on top. I guess we might as well bring it up, since I was speaking to you about it before the video started. Mm -hmm. Parmigiana's weird. Yes. Because... I was talking to Michael about this before we recorded. In America, chicken... Do you call it Parmesan or do you call it just Parmesan? Or Parmesan? Parmesan, most people just shorten it to chicken parm. Yeah. Well, you guys get it with, like, pasta and stuff. Mm -hmm, it's over usually here, served over spaghetti. Yeah, over here, it's like a pub classic sort of thing. Like, you go to a bistro or something, and you can order a pot, you can order a parma. And you still get you still get the crumb chicken fillet with with the tomato pasta sauce and the cheese on top, but instead of it being served with pasta, you get it with uh, fran uh, with fries in quotes, chips, and salad. Which is fucking crazy to me. You also generally get it with beer, because pot and palmer is a thing. I see. It's super delicious. Also, it's very hard for a pub to fuck up. So it's a really easy meal to make as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to talk about what I'm doing here real quick. Uh, there is a reason I'm going flour to egg to breadcrumbs. Dry doesn't stick to dry and wet does not stick to wet. So if you try and put the chicken directly in the egg, the egg is just going to slide right off. Mm, makes sense. So, yeah. If you want if you want your shit to like have a nice coating, you've got to do all three. Flour, egg, breadcrumbs. It also helps to make sure that your chicken breasts aren't too dry when you do this, otherwise that first step doesn't work. That too. Chicken breasts are super easy to make super dry if you are not careful. Let 
They almost see it at the touch of the nurturing sun, so yeah. Looks also, good. uh, it's a good idea to leave the sink running while you do this so that your fingers can be rinsed off. Otherwise, they're just gonna be like this mass of breadcrumbs. What are you talking about, man? Crumb gloves are the way to be. Just walk out of the house with them. Go slap someone. <laughs> oh, dear. I can't promise you you won't be arrested. Glomp. Glop. Please contact the police. If anybody slaps you with crumb gloves. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot of parmigiana. Yeah, these are like... This last batch of uh, chicken breasts I got at Costco, they're like the biggest fucking chicken breasts I've ever bought. I don't know why. I should have picked up some chicken breasts while I was at Costco the other week. Instead I bought like three slabs of Dr. Pepper. Because I'm an idiot. Okay, now we can fry that shit up. Mmm. Multitasking. Ah, uh, what's it going to do? You just you do it. You go, and then you speed up the video. Mm, Ooh, says yeah. All. Here's a batch I prepared earlier. Cooked it like three weeks ago, and now it's all blue and covered with moss and shit. But you know, it's gonna kind of look like this. Exactly. I'm thinking lemon juice. Just a squidge. Uh, I don't have any lemon juice handy currently, but that's a good idea. Even if you just make schnitzel, just put some lemon juice on the top of that, good to go. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I just realized. Uh, when I soundtrack this, the song that's playing is called Return to Hot Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> good job, me. You just realized that after inserting the track, or you realized, then forgot, then realized it? I realized it when I was inserting the track, but I didn't okay. realize that I had inserted it at this point where we start cooking the fucking chicken. <laughs> <laughs> mm, loves me a good schnitzel. Ooh, yeah. Look at that bubble. But yeah, schnitzel's real easy to make, especially mm -hmm. if you're shit at cooking, because it requires a frying pan, chicken, and like three ingredients. Yeah. Three ingredients that aren't chicken. Also, it's good beer food. This is good food no matter what. Oh, you're gonna chuck this in the oven after you've put the sauce on. Yeah, well, how else am I gonna get the cheese to melt? Think about it. Cook the sauce. That's crazy. You're fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like when I do it, I like. I just, I like, I like the way that cheese melts in the oven. I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> like either way works. Yeah. It's like usually since I wind up cooking pasta like maybe once, twice if I'm feeling particularly awful a week, I'll have some sauce spare in the fridge, so I just cook that up on the side and then throw that on top after I've you know pan-fried the schnitzel. Mm -hmm. Shred up some parmesan, we're good to go. Exactly. Doesn't really matter what cheese you... Uh, I guess it does. Well, it's either it's either gonna be parmesan or mozzarella. Yeah. Anything else is gonna be, like, fucking retarded. By the way, fresh mozzarella is, like, the best thing. Buy fresh when possible. Mm. The kind that falls apart. Yeah, the yeah, kind it's... where you can just, like, grate it with your fingertips. <laughs> it also looks really good melted. Oh, man. It tastes so good. It doesn't last, though, so, you know, use it. Mm. I'll tell you, like, there was this, um... I don't know if you've ever tried, uh, I think it's called Saganaki. It's some Greek cheese you, like, cook up in a pan. Uh, no, I haven't. That is some good shit. It's just, like, you don't add anything to it. You just put some cheese on a frying pan. It doesn't really, like, melt into a liquidious puddle. Just for a bit, and then eat it. It's so good. Hmm. Check it out. 
You can usually just buy it at a deli. Oh, right, this thing. Yeah, so we were actually making gnocchi for the video, <laughs> so we're gonna... We've got a little bit left on the timer for the oven, so now would be a good time to hit that I, shit. I just imagine at this point you're, like, super frustrated, you've, like, punched the wall, a hole in the plaster. <laughs> I considered scrapping the recording, but I really didn't want to go through that again, so I didn't. <laughs> It's 11 a.m. People are wondering where the food is. It was like 9 p.m. by the time I actually served this shit. Yeah, but if there's like one major difference I'd note so far is that like... I don't know if it's better to do the way Mama does it, or to just like grab bits and hand roll them to size yourself. Although, what I will say is that hand rolling will definitely take fucking longer. Mm hmm Because holy shit. So yeah, they're starting to float, that means they're done. Time to strain that shit. Yes. Do you ever have that thing where, like, you watch cooking shows, maybe you do it while editing your NLP, and then you just smell food? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, maybe it's just me. No. I don't- I don't smell things that aren't there, so... It's like when I was a kid, and we would go out for Vietnamese food, and I knew I was getting a particular soup, I could taste it. Some weird shit. I'm not crazy, my young me is crazy. Shut up. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> Whatever you say. Crazy food tasting man. Toss some butter S in that shit. Speed roll the butter. Tomato sauce. You mean like... Hang on, what do you mean by tomato sauce? You're in America. Do you mean ketchup or something else? Tom or like, mean... like pasta sauce. What, just like straight out of the... Straight out of the... Um... Yeah, jar. like straight out of the can. Dolby or, the jar. or whatever. Yeah. Okay. There were a couple of people I knew back when I lived in New Jersey that would call tomato sauce gravy, and I would be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Also, another really nice sauce for gnocchi is um, if you can get like a four cheese sauce going. That stuff, like, it's so bad for you. It is really bad for you, but it's actually, del it's delicious. I just threw half a stick of butter in this pot. I do not care how healthy things are. <laughs> that gnocchi is looking super shiny right now. Yeah, it's uh, kind of disintegrating a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if it's because you didn't roll the bowl separately or if you just gave it the Hakan treatment. It's just, I, I kind of didn't roll the logs tight enough, I don't think. Nucky looks like it. I mean, um, the parmesan looks like it came out okay there. It did. There's, it's probably the best chicken parm I've ever made. Consuming is the important part. Write that down. You will be assessed on it later. Turn in your copy books now. <laughs> Do you see it? Yes, we're looking at that gross flower stain next to Micro's plate. <laughs> I cleaned it up after. Fuck you. <laughs> I got some cheesy gnocchi and some. Cheesy I can't. Gnocchi. I can't function if like, oh, the kitchen isn't holy like shit. clean. Micro, this is important. Is this the closest we'll get to chicken cheese, or will we be going deeper? Um, I don't know. It's too early to tell. This is for the moment, the chicken cheese. You got your chicken, chicken cheese, you got sure. your cheese. They both are two great flavors that go great together. I'm, I'm gonna call it chicken cheese. Don't eat the bones. Don't eat the X-bone. <laughs> I'm gonna do a shot now that this is over. <coughs> CVS brand bourbon again, or...? No, Captain. Oh, you've moved up in the world, okay. No.